So, so the first thing we're going to start out with is obviously we are um, very fortunate because we already have a pretty deep understanding of um, God and God's love for us. And so our anchor scripture about God's love comes from 1 John 4, 19. It says, we love because God first loved us. So that's something that we're very familiar with. We understand um, God's love and we understand because God loved us that he did um, certain actions, right? He had a ministry on earth, but he also, we just celebrated Easter. Remember he died for our sins and he gave us everlasting life through his actions. And so through not just his words, but also what he did, he was able to be the perfect model of what love looks like on earth and what love for others, you know, encompasses. <laughs> so because God um, came and was the perfect model for us of what we should be on earthly love, we are called to be a reflection of God's love. So I have a pretty short video clip for you. You might remember this. I know it's kind of elementary in thought, but just because it's you know geared towards or might be kind of little kiddish, it has a really strong message. So I'm going to put this clip up for you guys. So just kind of listen to what it says. You know, it's a little goofy at times. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can be a part of God's family and know him like never before. Man, you weren't kidding when you said that everything Jesus did was about loving people. Totally. But here's the thing. There's one more part to the story. After Jesus rose from the dead, he visited his disciples and gave them a very important command. Go and heat up some Hot Pockets. No. But save one for me because I'm super hungry. No, he told them to follow his example and be just like him. Jesus said to go into all the world and share the good news, to love people like he did. But was that like just for the disciples back then though? No way. The Bible tells us to do the very same thing today. Jesus' life is a perfect example of what our life should look like and what we should do. We should love people like he did, but not just think it or talk about it, go and do something. Right. How'd you say it? What was that thing you were saying? Uh, our apple dudes and axes? Close. Our attitude and actions are how we show people the love of Jesus. And when we go into the world around us and love people, we're showing them Jesus. Awesome. Uh, but wait, quick question. Hold on. Does sharing Jesus with other people mean I have to like do anything weird? Like I don't have to stand up on the lunch table at school with a megaphone and like start yelling at everybody, do I? Nope. Okay, cool, because I'm homeschooled, so I'd just be yelling at my mom, and I don't think she'd like that. <laughs> it's super simple. Just do things the way Jesus would do them. When you love others and go out of your way to care for them, that's showing them Jesus. See how that works? Mm, so when a kid at school like doesn't have very much food at lunch, I could like share some of mine, and that would be showing him Jesus. Yep. Gotcha. Or if my mom tells me to clean my room and I do it without throwing a fit and make sure I do a good job, that's showing her Jesus too? Okay, all right. I'm getting it now. Great. I'm catching your drift. What? I'm cashing what you're checking. Stop. I'm snacking what you're packing. All right, that's enough. Just remember, as you go through the journey of your life, you can always share the good news with the people around you, just like Jesus did, with your attitude and your actions. Can I do one more? <sighs> sure. I'm itching what you're scratching. Okay, I'm done. The end. So like I said, I know a little, a little primary, a little goofy, but the message is still very strong. Our attitudes and our actions are essential in reflecting the love of the Lord. And so um, I know that we've talked with you guys uh, quite a bit about that. And we felt like on this Be The Light campaign, it kind of goes back to those very simple thoughts. God loves us. And he gave us, you know, the expectation that we are expected to love others in the same way that he modeled for us. And so through our attitude and our actions, we're able to be the light in a dark world. And so um, through this Be the Light campaign, I know right now one of the things that we're doing is um, we're putting out a positive message on social media right now because we've talked about this before. Um, in previous weeks that right now social media can be like a really, really, really negative place to be. It can really affect your mind. It can affect your faith. And so um, in a negative way. And so we have talked to you guys about limiting. Um, if you're having a hard time limiting your exposures to social media or kind of avoiding certain things, if you know that right now you're struggling with some stuff. Um, so 
the be the light campaign and putting positivity on social media is so significant right now because of how much darkness there does exist out there and people are seeking after hope and they're seeking after like people that are uplifting and encouraging so by you guys taking the time to hold up your light bulb and put your scripture out there it's something different and it catches people's eye and people don't know why maybe that is but it's wonderful to be able not only to share right with visuals but also share with scripture what the lord expects us to be doing at this time so we've we've talked about this a lot um but i'm going to talk about the greatest commandment all right, so in Matthew 22, they asked Jesus, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. That is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. And then he said, all the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And basically what he's saying is, we had the 10 commandments, right? And we should still do that. But he's saying, if you follow these two things, you are going to, those other things won't be a problem, right? If you love everybody as much as humanly possible, you're not going to murder anybody and you're not going to steal from anybody and you're not going to do terrible things, right? And so the, he also said that they will know us by our love for one another, right? So I think back to when I got in church, I didn't come to church because I knew I needed salvation. I came to church because I was looking for something and I didn't know what it was, but our church and the young people in our church and, and the elders in our church wrapped me up in love that made me feel loved and cared for. And it kept me, a long, kept me around long enough for me to feel God's love, right? So the first time I came into the church, I didn't know what I was feeling, but I knew that I felt accepted and cared about. And that was what I ended up needing. And I wouldn't have ever got there if people weren't showing God's love to me, right? So... I think it's important for us to remember that like we're the bridge like God can do all things God can touch anybody wherever they are but it's almost like he well it's not almost like it, he uses us to like surround people and help them while he makes a way so we're gonna do a little illustration for you if you were a part of our VBS you do understand this so um, when you understand God's love for you and you um, have been baptized you have repented you have the Holy Ghost you know God's love shines on you and you are illuminated right and so you are a light in the darkness because God's love is with you so um, the light of God's love shines on me you know I carry it with me now there might be people in my life that don't know about God and God's love but if I'm doing a good job being the model that God called me to be something so simple as being a reflection right Is that working? Get, sorry we're, <laughs> we're struggling get, with you gotta that. get closer there you go right my my light can reflect on <laughs> someone else right just from being here right it lights up someone else's life so they don't even have to um, know God yet but they can still be affected by God's love if I am being a proper reflection of the light that God has given me 